hey guys welcome back to my channel as promised i did wash and condition her i'm just showing you what she look what she looks like um she's kind of damped right here uh but i was just letting you see the color and i'm also going to show you the construction of the wig also, I don't know if I mentioned that I did get it from Hero Stop and Shop and I did, did expedite the shipping because I did use this for my birthday hair. Um, as you can see, I already kind of customized her. I'm just showing you what the hairline looks like. And also, we're going to go see how much parting space it shows you. So on the box, it does show that you get two inches, about one or two inches on the side. And then after that, it goes to the ventilation. And then once you go into the middle part, it's about four to six inches. I want to say six because the parting space is pretty kind of long. But yeah, that's um how the parting space is. Um, I really love this wig, you guys. I have worn it for, I, I think it's said March 2nd to like March 20th. Um, I'm a person who likes to wear my wigs a lot. Um, I'm just basically showing you here that I cut out the combs because I don't like the combs. I really don't know why they even put the combs because a lot of people does not use them. Um, to each his own if you don't, if you do, but I personally, I don't use them at all. So the next thing we're going to go into is my cons. Um, these things are so annoying. It's like a bra wire. So this one is. This got to be the right side of my head because I kept it in. But as you can see, but on the left side of my head, you guys, I had to cut it out. I cut the wiring out because it was it was annoying and it was just messing up the whole flow. I'm going to insert video clips of so you can see the difference because in some videos, I left it in there and you can see it sticking out. But then once I took it out, you couldn't see it and my, it, lay, it made the sides lay way flatter. Um, So that's one of the cons is these things. The adjustable strap. Um, I don't know if y'all can see. I actually had to cut to have it visible. But you see, it starts here. The invisible straps, I, I, I don't know if they're, if they're not um, long enough. But they play peekaboo and they'll hide inside of there. So I had to cut a hole just to get it out. And it still isn't working, but whatever. Um... All right, so now that I showed you what the hair look like wet and I showed you the hairline, I'm now going to show you what it looks like when it's dry. And I do shake it for you guys so you can see that it is not stiff. Also, this hair is very big head friendly. They really did a great job with this wig, you guys. Why? Oh, it is big head friendly. Look how it stretch. And I see why they said it was a whole lace because if you notice, y'all see any tracks? Step that game up, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look. Let's take this one off. Boop. So first, open the powder. Well, you guys, I left it out. Because it's going to blend with your skin anyway. In the middle. Dun, dun, dun. And I go to the side. I start from the back. All right, so now you're just going to inch the wig up towards where you have the gel applied at. And I usually start in the middle and then I go to the sides. Once you do that, you just want to firmly press down. And you're probably going to have to put a little bit more gel on the sides or spray because it dries pretty quickly. And for some reason, it does not get as tacky and stick and hold like it's supposed to. So that's perfectly fine though, but you just want to go from the middle and then press down on each side to make sure everything is fine. Oh, this dried a little bit too quickly. Oh, melt down, Mariana. Okay. Crazy. 
So you just check to see what's not um, laid down. And what you're going to do is go around and use the gas to be to lay it down. Make sure you lift it all the way back and then apply it. Do not let the lace touch the um, gas to be until you know that it's kind of tacky and dry. Then once it's kind of tacky and dry, then you want to press it down because i'm gonna let you know now if you do it while it's not dry while it's still wet it is going to be white and here i'm just showing you show how it looks now that it's applied huh? and look at that what parting I, guys you? it is real pretty oh look at this out the scalp out the scalp okay Woo! So here you guys, I had just unwrapped it after it had been tied down for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can do five, but just look how nice it laid down after you tied down. See guys, and I remember I didn't even put no powder up in here and it still blends with my skin and with the scalp and here i just showing you the parting space of it which i really love um even though you only get the two inches on the side it's fine by me um because i all i barely do is the just like the baby heels on the side i might do like a side part um hairstyle i don't really part too much far on the sides but other than that like going into the middle you can part really deeply and I really love that. And it matches my skin tone very well. And as I stated in the previous, I do not put powder on the perimeter of the hairline due to I don't like the glue being clumped up with the powder and looking like your um your hairline looks real light. I don't like that at all. So I just only put powder in the middle and it looks real nice. You can see that it blends real well. It goes to the, the ventilation. So that's where it stops at. Quick the other side. And I'm just showing you here how the adjustable straps unhook on their own again. I don't know why they have a man on their own. But it does this so often. This that is the is only that real is. con that I have about this wig. All right, now that I have already showed you how to apply the wig, I'm just going to show you some styles you can do. The first one up is the uh, up top and then the rest down. I just want to let you know, just as a reminder, when you're using the gas to be, please do not tug the wig too hard or it will lift or slide back. Also, look at the scalp y'all doesn't it look like it could be mine and mind you all i did was put powder on it and usually i do put gas to be in the parting space and then tie it down again so that it will not um the scalp won't lift up as you can see sometimes when you see me parting it, it will lift a little bit but that's okay um i'm just going to finish showing you guys how you can do it but this scalp looks very nice All right, now I'm just brushing the hair back so we can start for the baby hairs. Usually I have clips, but I have forgot them. So what are you going to do is part around the perimeter to create a hairline. And usually I have a rat tail comb with the metal end, but I could not find it. So yeah, you just part from the middle and left to right. Um, you want to take a little bit at a time, but since I already manipulated the wig and I had plucked it so much on one side, I had to um, go back a little bit further. All right, next thing we're going to do is cut the baby hair length. Usually I cut mine either small or medium. On this one, I'm going to cut it small. 
um there's really no method to it you're just going around and cutting it evenly around to uh your liking i do mine's kind of small and then once you do that you want to pour the hair back so it won't know the hair won't get in the way and then the next thing is going to be plucking now you are going to pluck that baby hairs um kind of thinly not too thin um but i like mine's kind of thin so that the baby hairs look more realistic and not fake looking Now we get into manipulating the baby hairs. Um, I would start with mousse because that way you can find which way you like your baby hairs, the shaping and brushing it. I learned the hard way that when you use the gas to be, the gas to be is basically for when you want it to stick. And it is so hard to when you use the gas to be and you don't like the way it is and it's already hard and you have to use um water or something to try to manipulate it so first i like to start with the mousse that way i can see which way i like my baby hairs and that's what i'm doing right now um, i want to let y'all know that with doing this since it was my first time doing it on camera it was pretty hard for me i tried my best so please don't judge me <laughs> but yeah um i basically just take the mousse and try to see which way and brush which way I think that I would like my baby hairs to be. And usually when you see me brushing like more going back into the wig, that's because I like my baby hairs to look like it's coming out of the scalp. So that's what I'm trying to do is manipulate it, um, create the baby hairs and make it look like it's kind of coming out of my hair. So as you see here, I gave up on doing the middle baby hair because the lace was lifting. It wasn't laid all the way down. So I just pulled it back, which I didn't mind because I have a natural widow peak anyway. So I was just like, all right, well, I'm just going to have the baby hairs on the side and just have like the little widow's peak in the beginning. So I just kept trying to manipulate to see what will work for me. And then I just got some gas to be free spray and I put it down on there and sprayed it and I'm uh try to press it down lightly and then I try to fan it for a little bit and then I press it again. And then you see here that um I finally was not giving up on them, but that baby here in the middle. So I finally manipulated it and I put some gas to be on it so it can stick down because with the mousse it was not staying so i had to put some gas to be on it to manipulate it and then you see me pushing it back into the wig to make it look like it's coming out of the scalp Sorry, I'm so glad you guys. I'm really trying to focus because I never did this on camera. This brush, because I like it to look like it's coming out of my scalp. All right, and I finally got it to where it was of my liking. So I just put a little bit of powder in the middle and then it creates um, like a nice middle part with a baby here. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. And the next step we're going to do is for the two ponytails up top. So since I already have the middle part, I'm just going to start with one side. Again, guys, make sure you do not tug too hard on these because the wig will lift or pull back and you do not want that so yeah you just make sure you brush it and make sure it's kind of flat and look how flat that looks like it just looks so natural y'all yeah, i'm gonna say it again but i really love this wig so once i get done with that ponytail i'm going to move on to the other side all right and there you have it that is the two ponytail look and then i was thinking like hmm what 
else would make this like hairstyle pop real good and it was the earrings I mean, basically so it. yeah uh, I could do and i'm just basically showing you what it looks like and i love the sad burns as well the next thing we're going to do is a sad part so what i did is cut the rubber bands out guys i do personally don't like to pull the rubber bands because i feel as though that helps that makes the hair tangle so i just use the scissors very carefully and I cut them out. And then I part on the left side of my hair because I like my hair to fall on the right side of my face. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just done basically flat earning, but that's it guys. This is going to be the side part hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoy watching my tutorial slash review. Um, if you have any wigs that you would like me to review, make sure that you comment below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and also follow my Instagram. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.